guys and welcome back to another video so the people at tourbox have reached out and asked if i would like to do an unboxing and review for you guys of one of their products and this is the tourbox neo and it's basically a controller meant for any kind of creator that works more towards like the digital medium so let's do the unboxing first as you can see the contents of the box has the start guide and a safety instruction and then underneath this little black panel you'll see that this is where the device is as well as its cord so in the bigger pouch it will be the controller and in the smaller pouch we have the connecting cables that connects it to your laptop or your computer so i'm just going to quickly show you guys the little cable what i like about the cable is that it actually has this kind of like mesh or like woven texture to it so that it will be hard for you to actually snap the wire or accidentally you know expose the wire due to bending it too much and then here is the controller itself i'll give you guys a better view because of my desk is so dark so here it is um it's quite compact it's a little bit heavy but i feel like it's a good size for in general for people's hands just because my hands i don't think is large or small i think my hands are fairly average for a person who's five foot four and is a female um but yeah it's quite nice the buttons are easily accessible i believe there's like 14 buttons but i'll get into it a little bit more when we do kind of like a tutorial about how to download the stuff for this program as well as i'll be doing a speed paint and talking more about its features and showing you guys kind of like almost like a demonstration in a time lapse format so let's get on to that okay so once you click on the website so this is the torbox website and here you can see is the torbox neo right you can click buy now you can see all the price and everything about this so i believe if you use the link in my description you'll get ten dollars off of the device um, and they also have a storage bag just in case you want to take this around with you you can keep it safely protected in this little case so what i'm trying to show you guys here is that um from their page you can go into downloads and you can click on software so once you click on software you can download the right driver for your device okay so once you have it all downloaded i'll put two screenshots just because mine shows up on my other monitor or my laptop screen so i'll put in the little screenshots and show you guys what it looks like so you have to connect your device and then once you connect it you'll get into you'll be brought into this menu Okay, so basically you'll be brought into this menu and as you can see, you can see this little up, left, right, down uh, button control. You can put this anywhere. I usually put it on my second screen so that it's not in the way just because I don't really want something translucent floating around. But um, if you're like me and you get confused on what your arrow keys are or on your um, tour box, you can definitely have this up and then you will remember which buttons is which if you don't set it to something like up, left, right, and down. So I'm gonna put this guy all the way up here so you guys can't see it. Um, so once you're in tour box, as you can see, I already have some settings already set. So what you're gonna do is that if you do not like any of these configurations or maybe you don't use the maybe you don't use photoshop you don't use lightroom premiere for editing or coloring you can always import new presets which is what i liked so i use paint tool sci and i use clip studio paint so let's go and download the one for clip studio paint so i'm going to open up their website again we're going to go to downloads we're going to go to presets and as you can see they have a whole um, little section of what programs they are compatible with you can also set these for other programs you just have to set up the keys and link the program itself to the box so because i already have the one for paint tool sci i am going to download the one for clip studio paint so let's look so as you can see there's different presets here just look make sure you're downloading the right language so i'm going to download this one and I think it's because uh, the one I downloaded for Paint Tool Sci, I believe, is by the same user. So let's go download this one. Save it. And it's save as a TB file, which I believe is Torbox. So we're going to go to Import Presets. Um, so you can see here is the preset. So I'm just going to click on this. 
press open and you can name it. So I'm gonna name it uh, CSP. Press OK. So as you can see, it says no link here. So I'm gonna open up Clip Studio Paint really quick. Open up Torbox again. We're gonna press. Um, here it is. So you have Clip Studio Paint. I'm gonna press OK. And now you can see that it is now set. Now we have the general settings up here. I'm not gonna change anything for now. I think as I'm working, I will change as I go. So um, we're gonna stick to using paint to the side just because I haven't set up the shortcuts for Eclipse Studio Paint. So now we're in paint to the side. I'm gonna open up a new canvas and I'm not gonna be able to show you guys via the webcam because I don't have it set up right now. I'm gonna be using the center knob um, I'll make sure to take a picture and you guys can see it. But once I do the speed paint version, you guys will be able to see me pressing all the buttons and stuff. Okay, so as you can see, I am going to pick up my sketch brush and I'm going to use the wheel. And you can see the other little um, button on the left side it can help you rotate your canvas. If you press the center, I have it set to reset. So if you press the center, it'll just reset it to the original position. I have another button for panning because I use the heck out of the space bar. So yeah. So let's say my brush size is like this. Let's pick a new color and pretend I want to go smaller. Um, I can just rotate the little knob to adjust the brush size. Now I find this very helpful when digitally painting because I'm usually just reaching over here and clicking these little brush settings like all the time to change brush settings. And sometimes it's just much quicker for me to you know, increase the brush size or decrease the brush size at like at my will, basically. This is much easier. Um, you can zoom in and out with the little like mouse scroll wheel that they have already on here. Um, the two little buttons at the top, I have as an undo and I also have as redo. I like I said, I have the space bar and you can go into this and kind of do the double arrows right here. And you can see that you can actually mix and match a bunch of these buttons together, which I find very helpful um, because even though I feel like I don't use too many keyboard shortcuts, I realize how many I use when I started to use them on um, the Torbox Neo. So on the Torbox Neo, I think you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 buttons, but look how many different combinations you could have. Look at these. You can have plenty, right? There's a whole bunch you could do. So you should have plenty of shortcuts. I highly recommend that maybe if you're more used to using express keys and the express keys are not enough, I highly recommend getting the Torbox Neo. Um, it's similar to a keyboard, but it's just more condensed. Um, it's definitely more easier for your hand to reach every button and it feels more intuitive with certain physical features of the Torbox Neo. So with the dials, you can easily like twist it to change brush size. You can rotate using um, the little wheel thing, which feels like you're actually rotating the canvas. Obviously, zooming in and out with the mouse scroll wheel is another one, which I really like. I personally use the side button to save anything I need, but yeah, so let's go into the speed paint and we'll talk a bit more about my thoughts and opinions on the Torbox Neo. Okay, so now that we are on the speed painting or time lapse portion of the video, you can see that in the right hand corner, I put, um, I should put in the left corner, but I've already merged the video, so it's too late. Um, I have it showing my left hand controlling the Torbox Neo and you can see that I'm pressing I don't know if you can see it as clearly, but I'm pressing a lot with my thumb because I use that to pan a lot. You'll see later when I start actually painting a lot more um, that I'll be using the knob a little bit more to rotate as well as, or I guess it's the dial. I'll use the dial to rotate and I use the knob to really change the brush size because usually when I'm sketching, I don't really change the brush size. So I don't really touch the little knob in the middle for that much until I start painting. Uh, but like I said at the beginning of the video, the price of the Tourbox Neo is $169 on their website. But if you buy from my link in the description, you can get $10 off. Um, 
and they also offer free global shipping so i think that's really great of them to do so um so let's talk about I guess like the perks of using it. So if you're more used to drawing or digital painting um, on the computer and stuff, you can definitely control and manipulate your brushes more at ease, I feel like, with the little knobs and dials. So maybe if you don't like using the dials or the scroll wheel to rotate or zoom in and out, I know that's something I'm not really used to because like even on my keyboard, I don't use those buttons to do so. I always click the little squares at the very top, like the little toolbar to rotate and to zoom in, which technically does waste time, but I do find it a little bit more intuitive using the tour box itself because I love the tactile feeling of being able to zoom in and out and rotate because it's quite easy to recognize that's what those dials do. The knob in the middle is what I like the most, I guess. You can definitely control the size of your brush so easily, but I bet if you put it along with another button, you can definitely change the transparency or opacity, or if your program offers it, then the flow or the hardness of the brush, then you can really manipulate your brush so easily with maybe just two buttons on the tour box, and you can just manipulate it so quickly, and you can kind of like streamline your process more easy. I just really liked it using the middle knob to change the brush size because like I mentioned earlier, I changed the brush size by going always back to the right hand corner and changing and there's always like certain brushes that I use constantly and sometimes if I misclick, I get a little frustrated but if I'm using the knob, I don't really focus on what size the brush is. I focus, well like not like via the numbers, like if I'm on paint side, it has like the numbers for each brush size, right? But if I'm using the knob, I can physically see my brush getting smaller or bigger. So I can kind of just match it to what I need it to do for when I'm painting, which I didn't really mention this. I'm painting my Uzi Masaki. I know a lot of you guys missed that I haven't drawn him in so long. I do apologize about the weird anatomy problem. I don't remember if I fixed it already. I know his torso and his legs seem small or a little short. I apologize, but I wanted to do this demo and I kind of wanted to do something a little bit easier and just draw someone I'm familiar with. So I drew my OC Masaki. Um, one thing I haven't talked about though is that you can program this to help you maybe with editing. So if you do video, video editing, I know some people use it for like when you're scrubbing through your timeline, you can do that much easier using the knobs. You can also use the dials to zoom in and out of your timeline. Um, you can set different shortcuts to cut and copy or splice and it makes it just obviously more easier. Um, some people use it for photo editing, which is very similar to just drawing and stuff. You can set it to the different um, parameters or the different settings that you need that helps with your workflow. Um, to, like, to be honest, I did have a little bit of trouble using it at first just because I am so used to using the keyboard for so many years. Like my hand is just so used to having like my pinky on control, my thumb on the space bar, my middle finger is ready to hit shift or my, I guess my, like my, I guess it's mostly my middle finger. It's hitting like control Z, it's hitting the X and the V key, which I use to toggle transparency or switch between colors. And is this more easier? But I do realize that I look down at my keyboard sometimes very often. So if I want to hit um, control T or control Y or for whatever reason, um, I do have to look at my keyboard, but with the tour box being laid out how it is, I feel like it's just more easier to remember the placements of the buttons. Um, so on my keyboard, I usually space out my keys so I don't accidentally hit the wrong one, but I feel like the tour box Neo is just very comfortable. Um, I don't feel like my hands cramped. It never got really cramped or anything. I do recommend that if you like the slant of a keyboard, maybe get something to prop up your wrist just in case you might need to support your wrist more from being at a little bit of an angle. Um, I don't really have any gripes about it. Uh, I guess this one's like, this one's very nitpicky. 
which is that I have like grubby oily fingers or like I touch my face a lot right and your face produces oils and has like dirt and debris and stuff or like dead skin cells if you touch your face and you're oily like me and you touch your tour box neo a little bit after or if you just have greasy hands or something the texture of the tour box is like kind of like a matte rubbery finish and it, it picks up fingerprints quite easily so if you're a little bit of a person who is a bit of a neat freak or likes to keep things looking sanitized and clean that might bother you um i actually like the texture of it though other than that there's nothing that i could find wrong with it it's quite easy it's really compact and fits on the desk really nicely i i really couldn't find anything wrong with this device i overall i think it just makes your process much easier the more you use it um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me kind of review and talk about the Tourbox Neo as well as draw my OC Masaki. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye!